Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, we're going to be installing Spotify as part of Debian. And this is part of the How to Really Learn Linux series. So it's using our virtual machine that we've been using all along. So if I make this full screen, installing Spotify for Debian is actually quite easy. Uh, you can inst uh, install it via um, Flatpak um, if you're using Ubuntu and use Snap. But I'm going to show you how to use the, do it using the Debian way. Uh, using Debian packages. So if we do Spotify Debian in a browser and you can go for Spotify for Linux at the top and you'll see it has various, I have to accept the cookies, uh, so you'll see it has various methods of installing Spotify for using Debian packages. So uh, we're going to open a terminal and I'm going to explain the commands as we go. So look, let's look at the first command. Um, it's sudo curl um, minus ss and then it's uh, download at spotify.com forward slash debian forward slash public key underscore and then it's uh, the actual key which is 7a3a762faft4a51f.gpg and um, you pipe that to gpg dharma and output it to uh, this folder here which is etc apt trusted.gpg.d and then you call it spotify.gpg and what this is going to enable you to do is um, use the spotify repository um, so it it's the encryption portion of the uh, command so we run that and that works uh, so now we can move on to the next line uh, so the next line uh, if we look at this command here it's um, Adding the Debian, uh, it's adding the Spotify Debian repository into the file um, sources.list.d forward slash Spotify.list. So it's basically creating a repository for Spotify. Uh, so the next uh, line is sudo apt. It says sudo apt get update, but we can just use sudo apt update. Uh, don't worry about the warnings, this is from when I installed the um, Opera and Vivaldi browsers, um, so they kind of conflict with each other, but it's not not to worry about, it won't happen for you. Uh, then we can clear the screen, and we can do sudo apt install Spotify client. Now you'll notice when you right click, um, there is no um, Spotify added to the menu. Um, this is ISWM, so if, if you're not using ISWM, it probably will appear. Um, but what we're going to do is going to add it to ISWM. And if we go into dot ISWM, and we nano menu, we can add an option here: Pog Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. And ISWM ISR. And you can see that it now loads and you can log in. Now you could put that prog anywhere in the menu that you wanted. Uh, now you have to um, authenticate, uh, otherwise, um, um, and I've skipped that part of the video because obviously I don't want to. Um, show you my username and password but essentially you authenticate as you normally would for Spotify and uh, it's now available to use. So to prove it's working let's see if we can get Bluetooth up and running. Uh, somebody I've been following on TikTok um, is Pipe Rally. She plays the bagpipes to um, various different tunes and uh, it's very very good and it's worth a listen. Uh, I'm not going to play too much because I don't want to be picked up for um, copyright. But if I press this button now, And we'll leave it there because I don't want to break copyright and um, Pipe Rally deserves um, listeners. Um, so um, check her out, um, very good. Um, 
and that's really the end of the video uh, so that's how you install Spotify in Debian I uh, hope you liked it, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.